Good morning. My name is Michael Shaw. I'm the president of Freedom Advocates, which is an um, organization dedicated to informing the public in America about the nature and advance of Agenda 21 in our country. This synopsis is being prepared for the legislators of the state of New Hampshire as you consider HB 1634, which would outlaw a local government association with the organization called ICLE. ICLE is the International Council for Local Environmental Initiatives. The United States under George Bush Sr. signed on to Agenda 21 in 1992, and since that date, every federal agency has been infused with the policies of Agenda 21 in order to impose them across America. Today, through the direction of NGOs and other organizations, the Agenda 21 protocol has filtered down into every county in America. In 1992, the Earth Summit held in Rio de Janeiro produced this what's called soft law, not a treaty, so it never went to the Senate for ratification, soft law to be implemented uh, by each of the four two Democrat and two Republican administrations since that date. The first day of Barack Obama's office, he issued a series of executive orders for the further furtherance of the implementation of Agenda 21. The purpose of Agenda 21 can be broken into three categories. The first is the abolition of private property. The way that is done is through two land use programs, one called Smart Growth and the other called the Wildlands Network. Smart Growth calls for the concentration of all human beings into dense human settlement zones, the term used by the United Nations, and we see that happening throughout the country. The second goal of Agenda 21 is the education for global citizenship. Certainly if you go into a seventh grade class today, the students are not studying the nature of America and the, and the, the, the thrust of unalienable rights that, that are, are politically recognized in this country for the first time in all of human history. Instead, our youngsters are being taught about their role as global citizens. And the third element of Agenda 21 is to control and monitor human action. While this may have been a wish of totalitarians for the eons, today the technology exists to do just that, and we're seeing that technology deployed on an increasing basis. How is Agenda 21 implemented? Well, it's implemented through federal agencies. Every federal agency is now directed by the last four presidents for the implementation of Agenda 21. If you looked at the USDA website, you'd find over 220 references to Agenda 21 or sustainable development. It's, it's uh, you know, the, the, the terms are interchangeable. But it's not just federal agencies. NGOs, non-governmental organizations, are accredited by the United Nations for purposes of implementing Agenda 21. And of course, the most vulnerable NGO operating in America today is ICLE. ICLE is the International Council for Local Environmental Initiatives. It has contracts with over 600 cities across America, including Bloomberg-led New York City. There are four cities in New Hampshire that are members of ICLE. Well, what does that mean? Well, the first striking consequence of ICLE is that ICLE ICLE's contracts with local governments is a blatant violation of Article 1, Section 10 of the United States Constitution, which holds that no state, which includes its subdivisions, may enter into any treaty, alliance, or compact with a foreign political entity. But when ICLE comes into town and signs a contract with your city, ICLE brings the Agenda 21 protocol into the legislation making undertaken by local city councils or boards of supervisors. ICLE also works very closely with a federalized regional governance apparatus existing in America today, something people don't learn about when they took their eighth grade civics class. We didn't know we had four branches of government. So in summary, we've got to become cognizant of the infiltration of these globalist concepts into our state and local governments. We must protect the Constitution's prohibition against local governments from contracting with foreign political organizations. So please, give careful consideration to AB 1634, which outlaws ICLE 
and calls for a study into the implementation of Agenda 21 policy in this state. Doing so will put you as the first state in the, in the union taking such action. Now is the time because citizens all around the country are becoming focused and aware of Agenda 21. Live free, outlaw Ickley, get Agenda 21 out of New Hampshire, and let the rest of the nation follow you. And Thank you very much.